Welcome to this video tutorial on data mining in Excel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the partition data tool in Excel. Separating data into testing and training data set is an important but often tedious part of data mining. The data partition wizard available in the data mining client for Excel makes it easier to divide the data in an Excel data set into two groups. This tool helps us partition data into two parts, one for training and one for testing, or different blocks which are discrete or overlapping, and then analyze each one and decide on the most accurate conclusion. There are three types of partitions. In the beginning, we shall do partition of data as training and testing set, followed by random partition and oversampling. To begin data partitioning, we click on the partition data icon. A new window appears showing a brief description of the tool. Click on next and select the data source from which the data has to be used to create the partitions. We select the data set here and then click on next. Here we have three options, split data into training and testing sets, random sampling and oversampling. Let us first select random sampling let us first select split data into training and testing sets and click on next here the wizard asks us to give a percentage ratio of the training set to the testing set here we specify it as 60 percent this means 60 percent of the data will be in the training set whereas the remaining 40 percent shall be in the testing set we click on next we can see here that the wizard prompts us to give names to the new sheets. This is because the new partitions that is the training partition and the testing partition after, cre after being created are copied into two new separate sheets. Let us name these as training data 1 and testing data 1 and then click on next. We can see that the wizard is partitioning the data. Once the partition has been done, we can see how training data 1 and testing data 1, two new sheets have been created with the partition data. We can see here that training data 1 contains 150 columns whereas testing data contains only 100 columns. So this is how it is partitioned according to the given ratio. Let us now see how to partition the data using random sampling. Random sampling. Suppose we contain 1000 records in a data set and wish to analyze a person or number of rows. We can use this tool to either partition a subset of rows we quantify or based on the percentage it will calculate the number of rows to partition. For example, we may specify 20 rows out of 1000 rows to be made a partition or 15% that is 150 rows to be made as a partition. Note that the rows contained in the partition are randomly selected from the entire table and hence every record has an equal probability of ending in the partition set. This partition will be copied to a new worksheet. Let us see how to use the random sampling tool. In order to create the partition, click on partition data as previously seen and then select the data source. Click on next. This time we select random sampling as the way to partition data and click on next. Here we are e we can either specify the percentage of the data to be used in the random sample or else a row number of rows. Let us select and specify it as 100 rows. Click on next. Here the wizard asks us to name the data sheet in which the partition data will be placed. Let us name this as selected data 1 and click on finish. We see that the table is being partitioned by the wizard. As soon as the partition is over, a new worksheet called a selected data 1 is created containing the partition rows. You can see that this worksheet contains 100 rows which have been randomly picked from our 
data set. This is how we do random partitioning. Let us now look at another way of partitioning that is oversampling. In oversampling, oversampling creates a data set that contains a specific ratio of a selected data item. For example, it can be used to guarantee that you have an equal number of males and females in your data even if there is a large difference in the ratio in the data source. For this method, you specify the data item you wish to balance, the ratio you want to have for this item in the resulting data set and the maximum number of rows that the resulting set will contain. Rows not containing the specified data item are randomly selected to fill the data set to the size you specify if there are enough rows to do so. The result is placed in a new worksheet. This method is typically used when the data item of interest occurs very rarely in the source data. Increasing the distribution of such a state can offer, often improve mining results. Testing should be performed on the data set that has been balanced using this method. Let us see how to use the oversampling tool. Click on Partition Data. A new wizard is open. Click on Next to select the data set. We will select it as Source Data and click on Next. Here we will select the Oversampling option and click on Next. We get different options to select. The input, input column refers to the variable whose representation has to be improved in the data set. Let us select that as gender and then the target state is the value of the variable that needs to be represented. Let us select it as female. The target percentage refers to the percentage of the rows containing the target state in the entire partition. Let us select it as 50% and the sample size is the number of rows that the entire partition set should contain. We will select it as 100. After entering these options, click on next and then rename your data sheet. Let us rename this as sample data 2. Hence our partition will be stored under the name sample data 2. So as we can see the data is being partitioned and a new worksheet called sample data 2 is created. If we sort this according to gender, we can see that this tool contains a balance of 50 males and 50 females out of the 100 rows. This is how we make sure that the item of interest is not underrepresented in our sample so as the modern mi of mining created using this to uh, this partition is accurate this is how we use the partition data tool to create different kinds of partition this concludes our video tut tutorial on partitioning data thank you for watching this video for more videos on data mining please visit dataminingtools.net